we're going to give you a quick overview of the Moxie app and how it works with the Moxie signal. First, we'll need a user. This is Beth. Let's start with getting Beth set up with the Moxie app. We've designed the setup process to be extremely easy. To create an account, all Beth needs to do is add a photo, type in her information, and confirm her phone number. By adding her address, Beth helps the professional monitoring service get her help faster during a high-level emergency. Then she can create a secure alert pin to close alerts right from the app. All right, it's time to pair the Moxie signal with the app. All Beth needs to do is place the signal next to her phone and hold the power button on the side of the device until the connection light turns green. The app takes care of the rest. Beth can set up the signal for herself or easily set it up for someone else. To set it up for someone else, all Beth needs to do is follow the prompts to add their emergency info. Beth is going to give the signal to her daughter, Sarah. And done! Sarah's signal is ready to go. Moxie allows users to send three types of alerts using the signal. Sarah can press the button on her signal once to set a check-in and let Beth and her alert contacts know she's okay. Pressing twice will send a yellow alert to let them know that she might need help. By pressing three times, Sarah can send a red alert, which will contact the professional monitoring service for a high-level emergency. All that's left for Beth to do is add her alert contacts. Beth will receive all of Sarah's check-ins and alerts, but she can also add as many other alert contacts as she wants. She can also choose which alert she wants each contact to receive. Beth can even add a personal touch to the email her alert contacts receive when check-ins and yellow alerts are sent with a custom note. Receiving a check-in. Let's say Sarah just arrived at school. She presses the button on her Moxie signal once to send a check-in. A check-in only shares Sarah's current one-time location with Beth and her alert contacts, and lets everyone know that she got to where she was going safely. Receiving a yellow alert. Now, let's say Sarah's on a date and she's starting to feel pretty uncomfortable. She presses the button on her signal twice to send a yellow alert. This sends Beth and her alert contacts a text and an email with a link to a real-time alert where they can view her live location, listen to audio recorded right from her signal, and talk to each other in a group chat to figure out how they can help. Beth can always access alerts from the app, and contacts can access alerts from any browser on a smartphone, tablet, or desktop computer. Once the all clear has been given, Beth can close the alert with her secure alert pin, or Sarah can close the alert from her signal. Receiving a red alert on the web. Finally, let's say Sarah's walking home after a night out with her friends and realizes someone is following her. Sarah starts to get pretty scared and presses the button on her signal three times to send a red alert. This sends Sarah's alert to the professional monitoring service, as well as to Beth and her chosen contacts. In the real-time alert, Beth and her contacts can see that the professional monitoring service is handling the alert and provide any extra help Sarah needs. Once Beth or Sarah has closed the alert, Moxie lets anyone viewing the alert on the web know that everything is okay. We hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the Moxie app and Signal in action. If you have any questions, visit us at moxie.com to get in touch.